From water, Allah brought this insan into existence. And then after living, suddenly moth comes upon him. What is moth? What is death? There also science has tried to answer. 200 different theories they have as to what is death. Death is this, death is this, death is this, death is this. And all 200 are wrong. What Quran has said is the reality, Allahu yatawaffal anfusaheena mawtiha. When Allah takes the ruh of this person away, that is the time his death occurs. Ali radiallahu ta'ala said, al maut laysa minhul fawt. Death, you cannot escape it. In aqamtum lahu akhadakum. If you will oppose it, it will overpower you. Wa in farartum minhu adrakakum. And if you run away from it, it will find you. أَيْنَمَا تَكُونُوا يُدْرِكُمُ الْمَوْتُ وَلَوْ كُنْتُمْ فِي بُرُوجٍ مُشَيِّدًا Run, run wherever you want. But on its appointed time that death will find you even if you're in a fortified fortress. لَوْ كَانَتِ الدُّنْيَا تَدُومُ لِأَهْلِهَا لَكَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ فِيهَا مُخَلَّدُوا If this world was going to allow anyone to live forever, then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would not have drunk from the cup of death. كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ Every nafs will taste death. If you want to know the reality of this life, then go into the Qabristan. Go and look at those desolate graves. Go and see who is buried there. The same politician and the same governor and the same minister and the same ruler who when he used to walk, people would say, move out of his way, move out of his way. Somebody great has come. When he would move, he would move in a cavalcade of limousines. What is his situation today? His body has become the food of insects. And those insects have been eaten by other insects. Understand the reality of this life. That moth is coming, that death is coming every day that Qabr is calling out. Anabaytu dood, anabaytu dhulma, anabaytu wahda, anabaytu wahsha. I am the home of insects. I am the home of loneliness. I am the home of worms. I am the home of darkness. Prepare yourself before you come to me. Prepare yourself before you come to me. Every one of us will have to give account in the court of Allah. How much longer are we going to revel in this worldly life? Ayahsabul insan wa ayyutraka suda. Does insan think that it is just this life and it ends here? No. Ya ayyuhan nas, inna wa'adallahi haq. فَلَا تَغُرَّنَّكُمُ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا وَلَا يَغُرَّنَّكُمْ بِاللَّهِ الْغُرُورُ O people, the promise of Allah is haq. What promise? What promise? مِنْهَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ وَمِنْهَا نُخْرِجُكُمْ تَارَةً أُخْرَى From dust you were created, till dust you will be returned, and once again we will resurrect you. Oath upon oath, Quran takes, قُلْ إِي وَرَبِّي إِنَّهُ لَحَقٍ you will be raised up and you will have to give account in the court of Allah. How much more musti are you going to make on this earth? How much more are you going to continue to defy the Quran of your Allah? How many more azans are going to fall on deaf ears? How many more Ramadans do you have guarantee you are going to live for? How many more Laylatul Qadrs are you going to be able to search for? That once the Hilal of Eid is sighted, you return back to where you were before. That when that Mubarak come, month comes, then you cover up those shaitan boxes. And then you take those DVD plays and those MP3 plays and put them away. And once the Hilal of Eid is sighted, once again it is back to that same cycle. Where are you going to find peace? Where are you going to find solace? This humanity, my respected brothers, is in a loss. People are looking for peace. The heart is restless. That the heart which has not recognized Allah, that heart which is not breathing with the love of Allah, that heart which is not beating with the love of Allah, that heart which doesn't know ta'alluq with Allah, that heart is a restless heart, this whole humanity is bechen. They are searching for peace, searching for peace in women, in zina, in the scenery of this world, in the ringing of coins, in music, where are our youth? Where are our youth? 
What they say, music is food for the soul. The voice of Shaitan, which Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, and what he said was haq, will cause hypocrisy and nifaq to grow in your heart like how water will cause a plant to grow. So that when the time of your moth comes according to some ulama, you will not be able to recite kalima. That haram, not only are you doing, you bring your children onto it also. Stay away from this and what will Allah give you? إن الله تعالى لا يوحي إلى شجرة الجنة أن اسمعي عبادي الذين شغلوا أنفسهم بذك عن المعازف والقينات بذكري فتسمعهم بأصوات ما سمع الإنس والجن مثلها وقال صلى الله عليه وسلم أيضا ما من عبد يدخل الجنة إلا ويجلس عند رأسه وعند رجليه ثنتين من الحور العين تغنيانه بأحسن صوت سمعه الإنس والجن أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم Jalab Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that ummati of mine, who when the music blares will cover up his ears, will not listen to the haram music of this world. In Jannat, Allah will command two hoors to sit at his head, two hoors will sit at his feet. The trees of Jannat, the leaves of Jannat will be commanded, now play music. Play music. These women whose voices are such that if a dead man had to hear her, hear her he would come to life. If a living person had to hear her, his liver would split as a result of joy. If she had to spit, the waters of the oceans of the world will become sweet. She will start singing, and the trees will start singing, and the birds will start singing. Such a beautiful and a melodious orchestra will occur in Jannat for this Jannati that no insan or jinnat has heard the like of it. Come unto the obedience of your Allah. How long are you going to continue running away from your Allah? How long are you going to continue to make war with your Allah? They are searching for that inner peace, searching in music, searching in haram, searching in riba, searching in the scenery and attractions of this world, searching in sharab, searching in the dens of vice, searching in gambling. They will never find it there. Bring one person, bring one person who is in masyid, who in the dead of the night breaks the command of Allah and his heart is at ease. Bring one person who is revelling in haram and can claim that he has peace of the heart. Wallah! You will not find one person traverse the surface of the earth. Go to those millionaires who have earned their millions in haram and see if their heart is at ease. You will not find a single person because if you find one person who in masyid, who in haram, has peace of heart and peace of mind, then my respected brothers, the kitab of my Allah will be wrong. And wallah, my Allah's kitab is not wrong. Allah! Allah! Allah calls out. Listen, O oh people of masti. O oh people who are arrogant over their wealth. O oh people who are hankering after this world. O oh people who are destroying the akhirat of their children by making them like the Yahud and the Nasara. Or the people who are following the fashion of the West. Allah, listen. Allah, hearken. Put up your ears. Bi dhikrillahi tatma'innul qulub. Only in the dhikr of my Allah. Only in the obedience of my Allah. Only in falling down before Allah. Only in running back to Allah. Fafirru ilallah. Fafirru ilallah. Fafirru ilallah. Come back to your Allah. In that ta'alluq, in that association, in that link, in that nisbat, tatma'innul qulub, you will only find peace there. You will never find it anywhere else.